Well, tomorrow, the madness begins. 64 college baseball teams will try to make their way to Omaha in the College World Series, something Texas A&M did just two years ago. And if they go back this year, they're going to have to do it out of the West Virginia Regional. Last time we saw the Aggies, they were shut out in their final two games of the SEC tournament despite lights out pitching performances by John Doxakis and Chris Weber. But they feel like those bats are close to breaking out in this postseason. It had been a struggle, but the mentality hasn't changed. We're going to stick to our approach and um, do what we do. We felt like when we did that in the fall, we were really good against them. And like I said, if we can be good against them, we feel like we can be good against anybody in the country. Well, you got to catch a lot of breaks to, to get through a regional, to get through a, a super regional, and, and you got to have your, your guys playing well at this time. And sometimes it only takes a spark, and it's one guy that gets going, and all of a sudden three or four guys get going offensively, and you've got to have a couple of really good pitching performances. And the key is just getting off to a good start. Duke and AM get going tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the afternoon.